Hi everyone, it's Spud. So, uh, in today's video I am doing my finished review of the Soap with F1 Camel. Now, I have already posted it on uh, um, Guy's Facebook uh, group. Feel free, feel free to join. Um, there's just, I think it's two rules, maybe three rules. No, poti no, po no politics. Politics. No bullying. And I think it was no self-promoting was the last one. Oh, no, there's also selling things, but I'm not too sure what you quite meant by selling things. So, yeah, my next video will be probably a gameplay on probably pack opener. Or them at the week in the week so all i got to do is just um gloss uh sticker gloss sticker gloss so that's going to take about three days in total to do the stickers because you've got to put the stickers on you've got to wait for them to dry then you've got to apply the fix leave that overnight so that's already one day then you've got to put gloss on wait a day wait overnight so that's a day and then you've got to put another layer of gloss on top just to finish it off give it an extra shine or i do anyway do what i give two coats of gloss it comes out really really nice um now i do want to make a slight confession all the stickers you see on this are not on there the tires are currently painted brown but at the end of the video we will be painting them the uh the front the color that the color most of it basically the color but anyway also the logos i'm probably going to try and paint on so there'll be this one, which will probably be the finish review part one, and then finish review with painted decals. Or well, the best I can do. I'm not going to do that decal. I'm not going to do the rear decals. I'm only going to do the RAF symbols. Probably them. That white stripe. Uh, and that'd be about it. So yeah, she's quite a big kit. She was actually. She's actually surprisingly big for a. Skill level 3. The next... Wow. Well, I've also posted on this thing. I'm thinking about getting a um, helicopter. So anyway. This is the kit. Now it was about 3 to go since I've done the build. Um, I completed it in a day. But since that I've had a lot of repair work to do. Uh, I only actually finished the repair work last night. Because um, this, every time I went to... Oops. Which I don't bloody snap. As you can see it's a bit wonky compared it to that. There's two on there. You can't tell. There you go. Well, there's two. This first one's a bit wonky because this completely. Well, they both snapped because the wing was pushing up um, on the thing. It got to the point of it was bending that much, it actually snapped the thing. So I had to try and straighten out the wing the best I could. It was all the way up, like. Let me use this for the purpose of the demonstration. It's all the way up about here. So it literally just snapped the thing snapped it in um and it snapped off at the bottom and then i just took it off the top gently um cut away at the top so i've got a nice clean cut and i will be right back in 30 seconds anyway i'm back i just had to go grab this and i wonder where it went but as you can see it's just normal let me use my tweezers uh just a normal um thing like a normal thing it did snap though when i was placing it on like that it did fall on the propeller first it went like that and snapped on impact so i'm just going to glue that at the end of the video uh this left side also snapped and so I had three pieces that snapped, but the first one was caused, that one was caused by collision. That one was caused by collision, and that one was caused by pressure. So none of them actually came along from, like, heavy-handed building anything. Um, otherwise it would have come in the video. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're my next builds uh, on my channel. They'll be my finished reviews, because I don't need series build on that. Uh, it's not too great, but you can make out. My hand did block the camera a lot of the time. And obviously that, which I said I weren't doing a camera thingy on, which I'm nearly finished, actually. However, there is a 
thing if I just quickly show you there's a massive dent so I'm repairing that currently that's stepped me back about two and a half days currently it's about double the size of what it was but anyway yeah like I said uh, the things aren't painted you've got four bombs which I'm probably going to paint aluminium I can't exactly pick up the bombs too great, but it's the brown. Pick. You see, there's four brown lines there, the bombs. One, two, three, and four. I'm probably going to paint it actually. This is all painted, as you can see. Not the greatest of paint job. I did quickly give it a coat last night because it was actually pretty terrible. There's still some odd areas here and there. Uh, the glue problem on the right side still pretty visible, so I'm probably going to give it one more coat tonight. Uh, and also try and paint the decals on when I've got patients at the weekend. So, yeah. Oh, and there's also gun turrets. Which were pretty nice. Oh, shit. Which were uh, a pretty darn nice build, I have to say so myself. Um, well... It was just glue two things together. I did do a little bit of detailing. I don't think the camera's going to quite pick it up. I cut the front off because it was a really pointy end and I didn't like it. So, um, that's going to be over like that over semi uh, semi yeah semi circles. Going to be over the pilot, but it's a bit off like I said with the wings. But that I can't help. That was caused by caused by collision. As you can tell, it's a, Fuck is it? Yeah, that's what I mean by snaps. So easily. It's got such a weak thing on it, it just snaps. But yeah, the pilot was pretty nice as well. So yeah, that's basically the kit. I don't know how much it was because my mate got it me. But uh, yeah, it was a scale level 3. Uh, made by Revo. I don't actually have any fitting issues, but yeah, I will see you all.